فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره الكافرون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به ولو حام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعض فإن أستقى الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بضعة ضلالة وكل ضراءة في النار إن الحمد لله We start with all praises due to Allah and we praise Allah because we have answered his call of Hayya ala salah Come to the prayer and we have came to this prayer and this prayer that we're coming to what does Allah describe it as? He says يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب أليم O you who believe Should I أدلكم Should I Indicate, should I point you towards tijara, a trade that we've, a lot of us sitting here today, we have work at this time. So we've taken work, we've taken our lunch breaks to come to Jumu'ah. We've taken, uh, we've asked maybe for, for some dispensation from our bosses to come here. For this, for, to leave our trade that we work at to come to the, the tijara of Allah. To come to the, to the trade of Allah. Tijaratin tunjikum min adabin alim. This tijara, this, this trade that we have done, that we have done, tunjikum will, will, will give you salvation from a painful punishment. That we have answered the call to Allah. When Allah says, Hayya ala salah, we have come to the prayer. And Allah says, Hayya ala al falah, come to success. And we have recognized that the success is here. And there's people out there who have not recognized the successes outside of these bounds. People have not recognized the successes in the prayer. And so knowing this, knowing that success is here, and that Allah is, is witnessing, and the angels are witnessing who is here and who is not, knowing that, that the angels write, who is sitting how. Knowing that, we should sit up straight, we should come more forward, tazahamu tarahamu, that crowd together and you'll be forgiven. Come to the front, and the, the angels will write, this person was sitting here paying attention, this person was not paying attention, this person was this way, this is what was in, on his mind. This person, his body was here, but his, his, his mind was somewhere else. That we have come here for God consciousness. We have come here for, for God consciousness, for taqwa. And one of the great metaphysicians of our tradition, Shaykh Abu Hassan al-Shadili rahimahullah ta'ala, starts his, his, um, his aphorisms. He starts his aphorisms with اِتَّقِ fil الْفَاحِشَةِ جُمْلَةً وَتَفْصِيلًا وَفِي الْمَيْلِ إِلَى الدُّنْيَا سُورَةً وَتَمْثِيلًا That be conscious of Allah in regards to fahisha. A fahisha is, is used to describe something that is repulsive. In this context, a sin. This is something repulsive. Jumlatan wa tafsila. In all general matters, or in all, in all particulars, in all universals, in all, in, in all particulars, be aware of fahisha. That every khutbah, what do we end with? Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhil qurba. That indeed Allah commands with what? Al adl, justice. In Allah Himur Kumid Adli wa Ihsan in excellence. Wa itai din qurba. But what does he what does he prohibit? Wa yanha an il fahsha. That he prohibits this this lewdness, this 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 repulsive sins. And we all know what type of repulsive sins we do. That Allah says in the Quran, Ya ibadi al ladina asrafu ala an fusihim. La taqnatum mi rahmatillah. That he says that oh you who have transgressed amongst themselves. Who have brought dark, darkness upon themselves and fussing him. We haven't done something wrong to Allah. We have, we have oppressed ourselves when we, when we lose sight of Allah, when we lose consciousness of Allah. That even when that happens, don't lose hope in Allah. This is, the, this is considered the most hopeful ayah in the Quran. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Allah forgives all sins. But we don't turn away from Allah. Woman a'rada an dhikri, whoever turns away from Allah, fa'inna lahu ma'ishatan dhanka, then then his, his life will be difficult and constrained. But we, even if we make mistakes, we do not turn away from Allah. We, are God consciousness, we, we have God consciousness at all moments. 
specifically of those sins that are repulsive. What is a fahisha? That which your fitrah, your primordial nature, that which your, 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 the nature that you're born with. That everyone is born with this nature, Muslim or non-Muslim. That, that when you do a certain sin, there's a, there's a certain feeling you have. That everyone knows that stealing is wrong. If someone wants to steal, they feel, they feel it in their hearts, I've done something wrong. This is repulsive. Ittaqillaha fil fahisha fi jumnata wa tafsila. That be aware of, of these repulsive acts. That are, and these repulsive acts are repulsive to the nafs. And if you continue in these repulsive acts over and over and over and over again, what happens? It becomes an ada. It becomes a habit. And soon after we're not, we're okay with it. There's, there's many examples. People develop all types of addictions. All types of illicit addictions. And it starts, and the first few times that they commit this, some, sort of, some sort of act, they feel terrible after. And after a while, it becomes a habit. And then it's, it's just second nature. Oh, that's just a problem I have. I'm sorry. That's just the way I am. No, that's not just the way you are. Allah, that's not just the way we are. Allah has given us opportunities to turn back to Him, to leave these sins. That these are things that should disgust us in our insi inside. Our hearts should be disgusted by these things. Th this, is, this is how it's described from Fahisha. وَفِي الْمَيْلِ إِلَى الدُّنْيَا And in having inclination to the dunya. فِي الْمَيْلِ إِلَى الدُّنْيَا Having inclination to the dunya. This is the, this is the inclination of the heart. Surah wa Tamthira, both in form and in action. So, if Allah, you know, Allah has given us dunya, Allah has put the dunya in front of us, Allah has put clothes on my back and a wallet in my pocket, and Allah has done that for all of us, but we ask that Allah leaves it on our, the clothes on our back and the wallets in our pockets, and our jobs in the office. We ask that Allah does not allow this to enter our hearts. We ask that Allah does not allow this to enter our hearts. That we do not, we do not have inclination to it in our hearts. That we use it for the ta'a of Allah, for the obedience of Allah. We, we ask that this is, this, is, this is something that we use Allah to, we, we obey Allah with. That we use it as a means for the obedience of Allah and not as disobedience. And, and when, when we continue on this, in this disobedience, it has an effect on us. The Imam Shafi'i, the great jurist, the great jurist uh, of our tradition, Imam Shafi says, "Shakoti ila wakiyin su ahifli, faarshadani ila tark al maasi, wa akbarani bi anna al ilm nur wa nur Allah la yudal al aasi." He says that I complain to Wakiy, being one of his teachers, I complain to Wakiy about my about, about my bad memory. Imam Shafi, if he could see, if he read something one time, he would memorize it. And so he said, "Shakoti su ahifli." What happened? He needed to look twice to, to, to memorize things. This, this, is, this is the taqwa he had. That it, it, even that much was not, not enough for him. So he guided me to leaving, leaving sins. And he informed me. He informed me that knowledge is, is, is light. And the light of Allah is not, is not gifted. We don't, this is not something we deserve. The knowledge that we have to be Muslims. The knowledge we have to pray. This is not something we deserve. Allah has gifted this to us. This is not given to, to, to a sinner. So we ask Allah that He protects us from these sins. We ask Allah that He protects us that from allowing these sins to become habits. We ask Allah that we, we are in constant istighfar of Him. That every moment that we're not thinking of Allah and thinking of, of, of having a, really, a good relation with Allah, that we ask that we ask for forgiveness from that. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum li sa'id muslimin. Ya qawmi astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Like we said, we all know the things that we, the, what we, what we do. We know, we know the sins that we do, we do. And other people might not know it, but we know who we are. And, and how, how, how's, how's the Prophet ﷺ defined a sin? Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet ﷺ said, Al-ithmu ma haka fi sadrika. That, that a sin is that which is concocted in your heart. Wa karihta an yattani alayhi nas. And you would hate that people would find out about that. About, that the people would find out about that thing. 
And we know what our vices are. Everyone has a different vice. But we also know that Allah is merciful. Allah is al-ghafoor, al-rahim. Allah, how does, he start, how, how does the Qur'an start? The, how, how do we start the Fatiha? Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Allah, this is, this is the name of Allah. This is, this is an indication of the, of the wajib al-wujud, the necessarily existent. But then after that, we say al-Rahman al-Rahim. Because, wasi'at rahmati kulla shay. That my, that Allah says, my mercy has encompassed all things. So even if we're continuous in our sins, even if we know that we make mistakes over and over and over again, and there's no one free of mistakes, except for the Prophet there's no one free of mistakes. We know what we do wrong. And whether these be major or minor mistakes, and for the people of Allah, there is no such thing as major or minor mistake. A mistake is a mistake. That a disobedience of Allah is disobedience. That we know what we do wrong. And we know that even if we don't make these major mistakes, then maybe we make minor mistakes. If we don't make the minor mistakes, then there are times that we're heedless of Allah. If there are times that we're not heedless of Allah, then, there's, then the, the, we, have, the, we, have, we have defects in ourselves that we should ask Allah for forgiveness for. And so we ask Allah that He, he cures us of our defects. We ask Allah that He cures us of, 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 of sins, of the habits of sins. We ask Allah that He cures us of the diseases of the heart, and the diseases of the body, and the diseases of the mind. We ask Allah that He allows us to find peace with Him. We ask Allah that He allows us to leave sin. We ask Allah that He allows us to, allows us to have istiqamah, to, to, have, to have uprightness. We ask Allah that, we, that He gives us the, the tawfiq, the grace to, to, to be in His obedience. We ask Allah, we ask Allah that nothing enters our hearts other than Him. We ask Allah that He be our only source of peace. And for that we say, Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta ya dal jalali wal ikram hayyina wa adkhilna dar al salam ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما We ask Allah that Allah allows us to realize that Allah and His angels send their benedictions and salutations upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we've been commanded to the same إن الله, إن, إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صلي على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواجنا سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أتباع سيدنا محمد وعلى أحباب سيدنا محمد وعلى أمة سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم صني عليه إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكر الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة